Sal Buonavita here. This video is part two of a series of videos covering the compass of Soliaris. What I just played there was some rhythm for the counts of one to six and seven, eight, nine was this. <laughs> In video one, I covered variations on beats one to six and beats 10, 11, and 12. In this video, we're going to go through 20 variations on beats seven, eight, and nine. When I was playing for dancers many years ago, I compiled literally hundreds of variations on seven, eight, nine. They're not complete full setters, of course, but they helped to fill in the gaps to make the compass more interesting when I was playing repetitive compass over and over and over for dance classes. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around because we're getting started right now. I'm not going to go into the details of Solialis and the compass. I'm assuming that you either understand a little bit about the flamenco compass, the 12 beat cycle uh, of Soliatis, or you've watched the part one of this series, where I do go into a little bit of detail about the compass and rhythmic variations. In this video, I'm only gonna use a simple rhythm like this, down and up strokes of the, of the finger. Seven, eight, nine is what this video is about. I'm going to give you 20 variations for seven, eight, nine. And 10, 11, 12, for the most part, I'll be playing uh, this. Uh, down with the thumb, up with the index, and... Just to keep it simple so I don't take the focus on the purpose of this video, which is seven, eight, nine. I'm calling these little things fills because there are three beat musical statements to fill in a little bit of the rhythm. I see it a little bit like a blues lick, which is a few notes to fill in between verses of a song or whatever. I'm not an expert on blues, I'm just saying that uh, I could have called it a lick and that would kind of be all right, but it wouldn't be appropriate. But it's kind of like that in my mind, as opposed to a riff that uh, a blues player might play, which would be a little bit longer than three beats. In this case, a fill is distinguished from a falsetto, which could be two compasses long or more. Anyway, let's get stuck into it. In the sheet music, I've written one compass of 12 beats per line. What I'll do is I will play each compass at normal speed and then slow down the 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 section. I won't bother to slow down the 1 to 6 because it gets repeated over and over and it's the same thing anyway. So, fill number one. Slower from beat seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fill number two. Number three. Slower. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
Field number four. Slower. Bill number five. Field number six. Slower. Seven. Number seven. Fill number eight. Field number nine. Field number 10. A bit slower. Field number 11.
Field number 12. Slower. Number thirteen. Slower. Number fourteen. Number fifteen. An alternative way of doing this would be instead of this with M and I you could do that with a thumb so instead of this you could do this that's up to you Fill number sixteen. Number seventeen. Number eighteen.
field number 19. Fill number twenty. And that brings us to the end of these 20 fills for Soliar. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. See you later.